friends, welcome, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my quarantine TBR. Okay guys, I feel like I have to be honest with you, I am a little bit on edge right now. Like, like with all this stuff happening, coronavirus, quarantining, lockdown, it's, it's a little scary. It's a little scary, I'm not going to lie. And even though I am a young, healthy person, it's still scary, you know? I don't want to unknowingly spread anything. I don't want to catch anything. You know, I know a lot of younger people don't have significant symptoms, but that's even more scary. It's like, could I be spreading it to someone? I'm working from home from the past two weeks, but I basically haven't been leaving my apartment at all for at least the past few days. I've been really diligent about social distancing, all of that stuff, um, but it's still scary. It's still scary. I live in the city, there's people everywhere, and it's just a little scary. So in the midst of all of that, I'm trying to keep up some bit of my reading routine. My reading routine has definitely changed dramatically. I honestly, I really wanna know you guys like how your reading routines have changed because for me, I feel like I'm reading way less. And I feel like that's kind of surprised me because I've been working from home now for the past two and a half weeks. And at first I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have so much more time to read. I'm gonna finish so many books. I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna read a book here, read a book every like other day I'm gonna be reading a book. But it has not been like that, you guys. Like it has really been a lot slower. And I think the reason for that is prior to all this stuff happening and working from home, my commute time was my main reading. Luckily, I don't have to drive. I did use, I was a passenger on my commute, so I am able to use that time for reading. And so it usually was like two and a half hours, sometimes to three hours a day that I had devoted to reading every single work day. And it was just part of my routine. And now, I mean, obviously those hours still exist in the day, but I just have not, not been using them to read. Like in the morning, I'm sleeping. In the evening, it's just like, it's just, I feel like my normal at home evening starts earlier and it's just not the routine for me to be reading at home. But I feel like the past few days, I've gotten a little bit more back into the routine of reading. I've been trying to fit in more audiobooks. All that being said, let's talk about some books that I wanna read while I'm at home basically quarantining myself. Okay, so the first two books that I wanna talk about, these are books that are focused on coronavirus. I feel like this is a time where there's so much media hype going on about what's, what's happening that it's kind of good, I think, to just step back and just learn more about these type of viruses from a bit of a more holistic way, like not as sensationalized, not as focused on specific stories, specific people, but just learn more about what's happening from a scientific perspective. Um, so there's two books that I have on my upcoming TBR related to this. So the first one is the, it's called Deadliest Enemy. This book I actually found watching the Joe Rogan podcast. He had a episode with an epidemiologist who was talking about his book and basically was talking all about coronavirus and all that stuff. And basically he was the author of this book, Deadliest Enemy. And I actually just started reading this book on Audible or listening to this book on Audible today. And I have to say, I'm actually really enjoying it. I think it's, I mean, obviously it's, it's kind of a heavy subject matter. It is talking about deadly diseases. It talks about flus, talks about like, why some viruses are so much more deadly than others. And I'm actually learning a lot and enjoying that book a lot. So that's the first book that I'm only partially done with, but it's kind of the first one on my TBR for this quarantine time. The second book is another coronavirus kind of book. So I did some research and I found some books to learn about the coronavirus. I actually made a whole nother video about this for some book recommendations if you are interested in learning about it. And this book is called Spillover. I, I, I've not yet started it. To be honest, it's a little intimidating to me right now because I think the audiobook is like 18 or 20 hours or it, it's a really long audiobook. So I'm a little intimidated to start it because I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna be like super scientific dry reading or it's going to be more interesting. I don't know, but it is on my TBR. I want to, I wanna read it because I think it is going to have a lot of 
interesting, relevant information about um, how viruses and diseases spread between animals and humans. I think that concept is very interesting and honestly, very, very terrifying. So yeah, that's the second book. Okay, now the next three books, I, I feel like I could not just spend my days reading about coronavirus stuff. I need to get my mind off of this um, and just have some more lighthearted fun reading planned. So I have three hardcover books. I have been so bad recently about picking up my hardcover books and reading physical books because as I mentioned earlier, like my routine is totally different and I feel like I just don't spend time at home reading physical books. Uh, basically when I'm at home, I just listen to audiobooks when I'm like doing other chores around the house and stuff. But I wanna spend some more time devoted to physical books. So let's get into those. The first book I got from Book of the Month, and it is The Hour of the Assassin. I haven't really read a lot of political thrillers and this I believe is a political thriller and I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of more interested now in expanding my realm of what kind of thrillers I'm reading. I just recently read The Holdout and I, I posted a three minute thriller review on that. That was a book that I didn't give it five stars. I was kind of between three and four stars on it, but I, I enjoyed it. And I think what I liked about it was it was different than really any other thriller that I've read, at least in recent history. I and I feel like when I read that, I was kind of like, well, what other kind of thrillers, what other kind of mysteries am I not reading? I feel like a lot of the thrillers I have read recently have kind of been similar, where I'm kind of like, yeah, seen that before, seen that. I feel like I've read this before, you know? And I'm like, am I doing that to myself? Should I be pushing myself a little bit to read different types of mysteries and thrillers? And I picked this one up from Book of the Month. It is a political thriller. I think it's like a spy secret service thing. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about this, but I'm like, okay. At first glance, it's not necessarily something that I would have picked up, but I'm, I'm trying to push myself a little bit more. So I picked this one up and this is my third book on my TBR. The next one is a, it's a bit of a classic, a, a classic mystery. I don't know anything about it, honestly, but I saw this book on as an add-on from Book of the Month and I was like, I should pick that up and I should read that because I feel like it would give me some good perspective on some of the books that I'm reading now. And that is, And Then They Were None by Agatha Christie. I have never read any Agatha Christie books and I feel like that is, that is a shame because she is, uh, you know, obviously one of the famous writers in this category and I feel like I should read this book. It's actually pretty thin. How many pages is this book? Okay, so this book is only 250 pages. So it's pretty, pretty thin. I feel like most books in this category are at least 300. So yeah, I'm, I'm interested to read this. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know if it's gonna be like too old timey where it's boring. I don't know. It was, it was published in 1940. So I'm like, am I gonna like this? Am I not? I don't know, but I will keep you posted as always, you guys. So yeah, that's the fourth book. The fifth book, the fifth book that I'm planning on reading is Miracle Creek. This is another, this is a book I've had on my shelf for a while, um, for at least a few months. And after I finished reading The Holdout, I feel like I got a little bit of a, I feel like I got the bug to read more legal thrillers. And this is a legal courtroom thriller. So I'm like, yeah, I should read this one as well. So yeah, this one I am planning on reading hopefully sometime soon. Uh, you know, I feel like this channel is kind of keeping me accountable to actually finish some books that I need. I need some content to make on this channel, you guys. Um, but yeah, that's it. Those are five books that I am hopefully planning on reading soon while I am stuck in my apartment, basically doing nothing but working and watching YouTube videos and, and reading. I'm like, I'm spending so much time looking at a screen nowadays. I need to get my eyes on some pages and get myself off the screens. So yeah, that's it. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books, if you have any recommendations of which ones I should read first, or if I should cross any of them off my list, let me know. And if you like videos about mysteries, thrillers, and just trending popular books, subscribe to my channel because I make content like this 
normally about twice a week. So I'd love to have you here on my channel and that's it. Bye guys.